Hello, good afternoon, this is Diecast Looney. Hope everybody's well, as well as they can be, with this lovely pandemic that's still raging on. Um, going to be taking a look at this Hot Wheels ID Bone Shaker car um, that I've just got in the post. Um, it's all I'm really looking at, to be honest, for today, because I'm not really safe to go diecast hunting at the moment. Um, but I have just ordered some uh, Hot Wheels red lines, um, which I'm going to be showing off, so a bit different. And I've got some Matchbox um, opening parts, moving parts, whatever they're called, coming. So that should be cool. But for today, it's anyway, it's this one for today. So we'll get straight into it. So as usual, you've got these lovely boxes. And it says Bone Shaker. And it says Larry's Chop Shop. And it's got a V8 badge on the side. Now the reason I bought this one is because, uh, apart from the fact that Bone Shakers are quite cool, um, I like the way that it's got a sort of a rustic, you know, look, sort of a wrap look to it, barn fine look, whatever you want to call it. There's the back for all those that don't know much about these by now, but again, I've reviewed these enough now, but you can always pause. But as usual, I've pre-cut it. So let's get straight into it. And uh, there it comes. Let's try not to throw it across the room. And there it is. Really cool. I'm not quite sure what they based this on whether it's an old sort of a, like a tea bucket or a ford you know sort of early ford model t or something like that but it is really cool it's in that usual sort of a like a turquoisey blue color spectra flame paint and so it's got larry's chop shop on the side but they've done a really nice job of the the weathering, the sort of rust. It really, I mean, it's actually raised. You can feel it. They've done a really, really cool job. And the bottom. But yeah, it's just really, really well done. It really does look like it's got proper rust on it. It's really cool. I've got another one here, which is not an ID card. I'm not sure what when I bought. I had this for years. Um, just thought I'd show it in comparison, just from a regular sort of bone shaker. Uh, when was this? It was 2005, so it's quite old now. But I just thought I'd show it in comparison. You can get some of these. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. You can get some. This is this is the open top one. Um, you can get them with a enclosed roof as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought it was really cool. And there's the, there's the standard one. And I said I forget when I where I got this one from, to be honest now. But uh, exactly the same, just obviously not got the ID wheels and the Spectra Flame paint. But like I said, just I just really thought it was cool. I just really like the the rust effect. It really does look like it's aged. But anyway, like I said, not a lot on today. Short and sweet. Um, and hopefully the post won't be too long. I'll have my other cars to show off. But everybody stay safe. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you all again soon.